Summer, an entertaining one. What do you make of it? Um, you know, the, the, the first half, I was really disappointed um, to go 2 0 down in the, in the way that we did. And if someone had said to me at half time, you're going to take the lead in the second half, uh, I wouldn't have been so confident. But the way they came out and reacted to you know what was said at half time, I thought was uh, was brilliant. Um, it, it was great to get ourselves in a position where we were three two up. Uh, just disappointed that you know we came away with the draw and not all three points. What do you put that down to? So our first 20 minutes must have been sort of getting a little bit worried when those first two calls went in. Yeah, it's difficult to put my finger on it. I mean, you know, I'm not making excuses for them, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a heavy schedule at the minute and it was always going to be tough and we knew it was going to be tough. Um, I think Everton got control of the game quite early. They played some good stuff. They grew in confidence and, and you know, it, I think it took us a while to, to match that and get control. And I think half time sort of came at the wrong time. I think we. we we just started getting on top and then half time came and you know luckily they continued that momentum in the, in the second half. Well, one name that's been banded around the press, the press uh, box today is uh, Christy Moore. She seems to sort of get out of the game by the scruff of her neck and really get your team back into it. Yeah, she really did and, and it took a, you know, a moment of class when she's, uh, when she's got the ball and you know, she's, she's sprayed it, sprayed it over obviously for the first one and you know, Courtney followed it in. Um, but you know, in, in in terms of her performance, you can see she's grown in confidence, she's getting on board, she's creative, she's linking up, she's working really hard defensively. So, you know, really pleased with Christie's performance. It must have been pleased well for Leandra Little to bag her first goal this season as well. Yeah, definitely. And you know, the, the delivery from Christie again was was spot on. Um, Lee just needed to make good enough contact, which she which she did and she rose above the pack and you know, really pleased for her to get on the score sheet today. He must have been just disappointed as well, he worked hard to get back in front but just wasn't to be and sometimes hold your hands up because that was a cracking strike. Yeah, it, it was, and I'm disappointed that all three of their goals have, have originated from set pieces, from the corner, then the other two from throw-ins. Um, need to see it again, but you can't take away. I mean, it, it was a hell of a strike. Should have been prevented, but it was a good strike. In terms of for WSL2, that's a great advert for, from, from both sides. Yeah, you know, I'd like to think that the fans had a good time. It, it was it was entertaining, it was end-to-end, -end, and, you know, if you're paying to come watch a game, that's what you want. So I can only encourage more people to come down and get behind us, and, and hopefully we can be a 90-minute team. And then it's sort of go again, go again Thursday. Yeah, again, rest, recovery, reflections, really important. We'll have, a, have them in for a recovery session. Um, on Tuesday um, and then obviously some work on the pitch ahead of Thursday.